So before starting the video, I have to say that use green screen because uh, the method I'm going to show you requires green screen. I mean, you can do this effect without the green screen, as you can see, but it's going to be much harder and much more complicated. So I advise you to use this green screen process and literally use green screen and nothing else. I'm just going to say use green screen. That's all. Period. Let's start the video. Hey there guys, I'm Imanshu and welcome to Filmora music video editing series where I'm gonna teach you some amazing stuff. So in this episode, we're gonna learn this effect. Okay, so now put your green screen video on the timeline and then put it again above the first one. Kinda like parallel to each other. Now double click on the second video and then go to its compositing section and change it to difference. Doing so will make it go black and that is exactly what we want. Ok now go to the effects tab into the filter section. Now slide down to the bottom till you see this pixelated video effect. Now simply take it and put it on the second video and now you will see the yellowish outline on our subject. So now double click on the second video and then go to the video effects and change the border color from here from yellow to white. Now don't mind if the border color looks different even if the white color is applied here. Just simply. Now go to the sample colors and take any gradient and put it over the second video. Okay now double click on the sample color and then go to its compositing and change it to overlay. So now you will notice that our borders are of the same color as the sample color. And now export this part into a video. Once it is done exporting, add another colors and also put them into overlay mode and export them also. It's your choice how many color mode you want to make. I suggest going for red, green, blue, cayenne and orange. So now in the end we will have the same video with different color modes. Ok now, import all the video back into Filmora and now put the main green screen video into the timeline. And now using the keyboard arrow key go 3 or 5 frames forward and then simply put one of the color video there on the second track and then again do the 3 or 5 frames forward and put the another one. Now do this with another video too until it looks like a staircase. Ok now go to the effects tab and there in the search box write GLOW glow. Now take this glow filter and put it on the second video. Now do this again two times. Once that is done, double click on the second video and then go to the video effects and here you will see these three glow filters. Select the first glow filter and make the level to 2. And now select the second glow filter and make the level to 3. And now for the third glow filter, let it remain at 10. And now here go to the compositing and change it to lighten. Ok now right click on the second video and click on copy effects and then select all the other colored videos by highlighting them through mouse and then right click on them and click on paste effects. So now you will see this glowing neon textures here. And now finally take this green screen video and drag it on top of the other tracks like this. Ok now double click on the green screen video. And then here check the chroma key option and make the intensity slightly more. And now our effect is done. Let's play to check. So guys in the next video I will teach you how to create this reactive audio spectrum. So do like, share, subscribe and turn the notification bell to get notified when I upload this next video. And I will see you later.